applause. Brittany, um, Brittany got a new in her contract as well, so she's doing a great job right now. Hey, I'm Josh Lopez. I'm director of sales here at Founders Real Estate Group. Uh, today's Tuesday, and we're about to have our sales huddle. I said maybe I should get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> it's an extra, you know what? I figured it out. It's an extra brain. Boom, I need to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's bring it back down. Uh, all right, so who has uh, open houses this weekend and plans to do it? Anybody? Not everyone at once. Probably next week. I do one Sunday. Yeah, that's right. We got Katie, though. You have this information, right? No, not yet. I don't okay. give it to you. I had a buyer conversation uh -huh. yesterday, and we we're kind of all over the place, but we ended up, uh, well, she already had an appointment in a new community right by my house on Saturday. Nice. Awesome. Where are we going? Was that, um, where the, how was the lead or where'd you, how'd you meet them? It came from the, oh, nice. Yeah. They don't know what they want, right? So you kind of present everything on the table for them to be able to choose from. So um, really, you know, just work with your clients on, and not necessarily, you know, like upselling them or anything, but you're just giving them all opportunities and all available options for them. A friend from church, a friend from high school, and a family member all reached out to me yesterday saying they want to buy it. Okay. So I said, hey, come on, speak here. I know. Yeah. <laughs> My spear's coming from me now. <laughs> well, good job. So you got a new, uh, you got a buyer's sign? No, we sent three appointments yesterday. Oh, sweet. Well, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do. I finally have a listing coming up in Pony. It's a lease listing, but okay. I've been working on it for a few weeks. Um, that's going to be ready this week. Okay. Could you tell us about it a little bit? Yeah, it's a three bed, two bath, uh, 1,700 square feet, and it's going to be 1760 a month. Where at? Forney. It was well, called Hardland, but it's right by Forney. Do you know where that is? Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, a cool, it's a nice community. It's a nice community. It's a nice community. It's a nice MLS for cooperation with other MLS participants. There are signs, digital marketing on public facing websites. But you know that that's what's going to make them successful. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Yeah. But we do have plans to expand um, founders. Our next city is going to be Houston. Um, I was actually meeting when we were in Delaware. I met with a buddy of mine. He's out of California and he just expanded, like actually expanded his physical team nationwide. So. He broke the United States up in like a region. So he has his like Northeast and then he has Florida sure. right now. And then he's over in California, but they're actually setting a true like duplicate, like yeah. brick and mortar. Brick and mortar hubs. Yeah. So the regional hub to service mm -hmm. number of states. Yeah. So I was kind of talking to him about, cause he, he asked me, he was like, you could easily do this. Like, why don't you? And I was like, I just don't know. Like, I don't know what that looks like. I don't yeah. know how. Mm -hmm. Because in, in my head, I'm like, to duplicate this, like, this took so much work. And yeah. I couldn't imagine doing it again, like, right now, at least. What's up, everybody? So I'm about to take my team, and we're going to go to a, I'm going to take them to a million-dollar property and show them how to sell that property. So show them how to walk a client through, what things to point out, what to do, and we're going to be doing some role-playing. Now, this is something that's going to be in a course of mine that I have coming up, um, the this, this next Power Unit course. But I still want to give you all, like, a behind-the-scenes of kind of what we're doing and... Um, also show you a really cool house. So that's what we're about to do right now. Good, good. In the burgundy suit. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so first lesson at this house. When you have a circular driveway and you have people that are meeting you, you always want to pull closest to the front. We have two ladies. necessary for us to do today is to learn how to show a house. Um, we'll go over some of the things that people commonly ask when you're showing these price point properties. Blinds. These blinds are at a good um, are at a good height. 
but if you if you get to a home like this one with a lot of windows everywhere and um, a lot of natural light should be coming in and your blinds are closed, obviously you want to open up the um, the blinds. So like, those are things that are truly obvious that anybody can look at and see. But you want to sell the home. So you want to sell the property. This goes for buyers agents and listing agents because on the listing agent side, you also have to sell the property. So this house right here is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, sitting on 4,021 square feet. And I just want you to take it in. Uh, when you walk in, you can see this gorgeous high ceilings. You walk into the open layout with windows, you know, bringing the natural light in. As you can see, a chef's kitchen to your right with six stoves, a sonic ice maker, beautiful windows in the back that lets the light in while cooking. And um, here's the dining area, which also amplifies the courtyard, which has enough room for a pool. So in the future, you want to build a pool right here. You can have an overlooking your living room kitchen. And then the master suite is going through that way. Thank you, KP. Awesome. Well, Chasen, this I think is going to fit all your needs. I'm so excited for this one. I've been waiting all day. So uh, all around, you see the uh, museum finished walls. Um, and look up, I mean, that light picture, I mean, it just feels like the walls in the museum. But a what finished wall? Museum. M museum? Yeah. What is that? Finished finish walls. Um, dude, I'm just going to show the property. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're just been telling me something you don't know what it means. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'm not going to show you. Think of a gallery. Um, if it's a museum, white walls, you can set the art up. Right. White, and it's just like, it's a blank canvas for for all your paintings or any, any interior decorations that you're looking for. Blank canvas, just for you. It's, it's nice and open and has all the room for you to be able to cook and also entertain. Um, it has a Sonic Ice Maker, which I love Sonic Rats, I'm going to you. Uh, I saw you going up with Sonic the other day, so <laughs> you're going to go with that. <laughs> anyway. So let's say the product there. What's our price point here? 1.25. For 1.25. So, like I stated when we started out, there are a lot of things that are obvious, you know? So at this price point, we wanna point out and we wanna make note of the things that are that are not so obvious or the things that that someone may, um, you, you can say and they can see value in. In addition, okay, so in the kitchen, obviously, I see the stoves, I see the range, this and that. What I, what I didn't hear anybody talk about was any type of flooring that, that's here, the cabinets, mm -hmm. the, the finishes. The museum finish is the highest degree of quality in the, the whatever that is, drywall. I learned something today. And as far as the, <laughs> the yeah. are well. Let's move it along. So you're gonna you're gonna take it from here. Then. Oh, okay. okay. All right, Tracy. So what I'm about to show you is the master bedroom, which is on the first level here. Now, you know, obviously we're in Texas, so we always gotta have something on the first floor that the master has to sit on, right? So if you follow me this way, obviously I'm gonna we can pass the white floor there, so I know like this easy access. And then you walk into the kitchen, you grab some wine, pop it over here, and go to your room. And here we are. I need that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back up to the front. I don't think 
to this amazing living room, which is great for entertaining. Let's go see the boudoir. All right, follow me. Now, this is perfect. It's right on the way to the bedroom, so you can grab a bottle of champagne. I had a whole piece of paper. Well, I'm so sorry. Okay, before we enter this, I want to prepare you just by letting you know it's very modern, very sleek. It's going to meet your lights very much. Okay. Let's just start off with this beautiful detail of this, of this door knob here. It's awful all within itself. All right, check this out. Look at that view. I just think you can put a little pool there. Then that's the first thing you're going to see in the morning. Seeing the water to start your day is a great way to start. Puts you at peace. Plenty of space, as you can see. Sitting there, right there. Beautiful bed here. Okay, Chase, so let's check out the upstairs area now. We're going to go here into bedroom number two. So we have the walk-in closet to the left with some storage. And actually, the patio. Also see the yard this way. And here is just going to be the for the lights and ceiling fans. There so far, buddy. I thought it was great. Yeah, I really like that. Like that master? Yeah. Where yeah. the magic happens, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, let's uh, walk into the other bedrooms here. As you can see, you got four bedrooms total in this house. Okay. Uh, Walk-in closet, obviously. You got that patio uh, outside. You can just walk out there, you know, in the morning and just take the, you know, take the uh, fresh air. Mm -hmm. Walk into this Jack and Jill. You got the shower here. I mean, you pay attention to all the little details. You can see that everything is millimetrically done in this house. Even the downstairs, as you were downstairs, you saw the drapes. Everything is very light. Mm -hmm very millimetrically done. So let's walk into the other bedroom real quick. Now the cool thing about this bathroom and this, this is another bedroom here. But what I like, believe it or not, I like a lot is this niche. You know why? Because I got kids. Yeah. As you're giving them a bath right there, oh. right? You can just go ahead and just extend right. having to climb up or put everything, you know. Yeah. And it's just a little touches like this that I like mm -hmm. as a father. So little things that I see. Now, so we have you. Can you go right ahead? Okay. All right, so we're gonna step out here on the patio. Um, to understand the weight and the substance of these other fence, this is not your normal uh, wooden fence. So if you step over here, I want you to go ahead and open this door so just so you can see the quality of how the fence was made. That will take you out to the front yard and it's just an opportunity for you to kind of overlook your property, you know, see when people are coming through your, your pasture driveway. So now, price point, you'd normally expect that this property would have everything all inclusive, including the pool. So while they didn't put a pool in here, believe it or not, this side yard is big enough to put in a lap pool if mm. you wanted to. Okay. So, you know, just envision, you know, if you really want a pool, you get rid of this green and replace it with blue and you have your nice little lap pool yeah. behind your private pet fence. Mm, that, I, that I really like that, that, that you did and you kind of did a little bit, but it's very important for us to always do is really point out the features that you think or that your clients have may have expressed that they're gonna really like and need. So for instance, when we were in the closet, she was pointing out the tie racks to me. And I don't know if y'all noticed the tie racks in there before. Um, pointing out the tie racks because of how I dressed and then like both of y'all pulled down the thing, obviously to get more um, space. Something else she pointed out with, with the, the bathrooms and areas is that they're pocket doors. So the doors don't come out or go in, they slide from the wall. And what does that do? It, it maximizes the space, it, it gives you more, more room. So keep that in mind whenever you're showing anything that maybe just in conversation or through a consultation that can really sell to that client. Something to bite, a